don't know what you should do with your life. I can help you figure it out, maybe we can talk about it, but ultimately you are the one who has to decide. If the things you're aiming for motivate you, if they get you out of bed in the morning, you need to specify the transformation processes and start practicing them. Persistence is key. You must understand that you'll likely be bad at these things initially, but that doesn't matter. Being bad is fine. Persistence is what you need. With tiny, consistent improvements, persistence will lead to success. The importance of direction. Direction is what produces positive emotion, which is essential to move through life. Positive emotion acts as a counterbalance to fear and pain. If you want positive emotion, you need direction. That means you need a goal, a value structure. Let go of the things that no longer serve you. If you're unsure what to leave behind, just ask yourself. Instantly, you'll think of a list of unhelpful habits, behaviors, or thoughts you could stop indulging. What should you do with your life? No one can tell you exactly what to do with your life. I can guide you and help you figure it out, but the ultimate decision is yours. Ask yourself, what gets you out of bed in the morning? What goals give you a sense of purpose? Once you identify these, start creating a plan. This plan is a transformation process that you'll need to practice daily. Why persistence matters. You must accept that you'll struggle or fail at first, and that's okay. What matters is persistence, not perfection. With small, consistent efforts, you improve a little every day. You build resilience. You eventually succeed. Think of progress like climbing a staircase. Each step might seem small, but over time, it leads to significant change. Direction creates positive emotion. Positive emotion comes from knowing you're moving towards something meaningful. Without direction, life feels stagnant. Direction provides hope, a reason to keep going. Focus, a way to organize your energy and efforts. Motivation, the drive to face challenges head on. Remember, positive emotion doesn't come from avoiding pain or seeking comfort. It comes from progress toward a worthwhile goal. Burning away the nonsense. If you want to grow, you must shed the parts of yourself that no longer serve you. Think of it as burning away the old to make room for the new, much like a phoenix rising from its ashes. Ask yourself, what habits are holding me back? Which relationships drain my energy? What ways of thinking keep me stuck? You already know the answers. Don't lie to yourself about what needs to change. Instead, let go of the nonsense and embrace the transformation process. Facing the dragon of chaos. Every challenge you face represents the unrealized world. The unknown outside your comfort zone. It's tempting to avoid these challenges, but avoidance leads to stagnation and despair. For example, let's say you get a C in a class. If you ignore it, you might feel bitter and resentful. Develop worse habits. Spiral into a series of failures. This is how the dragon eats you. But what if you faced the challenge instead? The C could be a gift, revealing where you need to improve. Maybe your study habits are weak. Maybe you've never learned how to write or think critically. Seeing your flaws isn't discouraging, it's empowering. If you're at 2% efficiency now, imagine the possibilities if you improve to 50%. Start small, build momentum. The key to change is small, manageable steps. Instead of overwhelming yourself with drastic changes, ask, can I study for 15 extra minutes a day? If not, can I do it every other day? Break big tasks into tiny actions. Put them in your schedule and commit. Success builds confidence, and confidence fuels further success. Balancing your personality. Personal growth isn't about changing who you are. It's about expanding your range. Here's how to balance your traits. If you're disagreeable, practice acts of kindness. Doing nice things for others can lift depression and build empathy. If you're overly agreeable, 
learn to assert yourself. Advocate for your needs and set boundaries. If you're extroverted, spend time alone to reflect and recharge. If you're introverted, push yourself to engage with others more often. If you're overly conscientious, learn to relax and let go. If you're impulsive, practice mindfulness and structure your time. Expanding your personality makes you adaptable, a bigger bag of tricks to navigate life's challenges. Reducing misery. Life is undeniably tough. A rat's nest of miseries. However, much of this misery is unnecessary, and eliminating it can dramatically improve your quality of life. Types of misery. Inescapable misery. Illness, loss, or natural tragedies. Self-imposed misery. Procrastination, toxic relationships, bad habits, or self-sabotage. The key question is, is this suffering necessary? If it's unavoidable, accept it and focus on what you can control. If it's self-imposed, take responsibility and work to eliminate it. When you stop adding unnecessary suffering to life's natural difficulties, you'll find that life becomes more manageable, even joyful, transforming tragedy into growth. Even if life lacks ultimate meaning, you still have the power to make it meaningful. Consider this. Without effort, life might feel like tragedy. With effort, life might become something more. A story of growth, resilience, and achievement. At the very least, your effort can prevent life from descending into despair. Your goal isn't just to avoid failure, but to see how good life could be if you tried. The optimistic perspective. Growth is hard, uncomfortable, and sometimes painful, but it's also hopeful. Every failure, setback, or challenge is an opportunity to learn something new, build strength and character, move closer to your potential. The world may be chaotic and full of suffering, but within that chaos lies the potential for greatness. If you're willing to persist, let go of what holds you back and face the dragon of chaos. You can create a life that's not only meaningful but extraordinary.